So it's um, it's a pleasure to be here. So I'm uh, I'm Clément. I'm an engineer. I'm 33, and it's uh, so I'm I'm quite younger than the, what, what was described before. And I would like to talk about 3D printing. Wow. So green button. Doesn't work. Okay. So before we talk about 3D printing, let's talk a little bit about creation. When when that guy created this piece of art, when Michelangelo created this piece of art a couple of centuries ago, he had no other option than taking a big part of stone, carving in it, digging in it, and it's very expensive, it takes very big amount of money, very big amount of time, and it was definitely not possible for the majority of people. So only this guy had the ability to create that because he had a lot of money and he had a lot of pencils. Then we had a lot, a lot of change in the creation. And the textile industry is the first one that showed us that it's possible to create things differently. This is uh, the programmable loom. So it's the first programmable tool. And basically, it's, um, it has been invented by a French. That's why it's in my slides, but anyway. So, uh, yes, I'm French, as, a, as a anyone noticed, so anyway. So this is a jacquard loom. It's uh, probably a couple of centuries uh, old uh, tool. And then we have the automotive industry. This one is uh, the Ford um, factory. And Ford was uh, very good, of course, at uh, creating this big factory. So in a couple of years, we had a very, very big change in how we can create objects, from Michelangelo to Ford. And now we are 3D printing. So I won't describe what is 3D printing. Uh, usually in uh, any type of conference, when I show this slide, I have to spend uh, 20 minutes discussing about 3D printing. Or at least four years ago, I had to spend uh, 20 minutes. Now it's, it's getting better. So 3D printing, for us, it's basically a way to convert a 3D file into an object. That's it. So I, I expect uh, all of you to, to say, wow. Uh, I mean, yeah, because, uh, no, I mean it. We, we can actually print an object. So it's, it's a big deal. So next big deal is that uh, you can do that from the cloud. What does that mean? It means that uh, you don't need to buy a printer. You send us a 3D file directly on the internet or via email. You send us a 3D file. We will make a quotation automatically, and we print it. So it's uh, the next uh, wow that I, I expect, but uh, OK. So we can print things, and we can print things without a printer. That's, uh, that's quite good. What do we do with that? Um, I'm, I'm an engineer, I, I, I told you. So I can, I can talk about two hours about uh, every example. So maybe you choose one. Um, let's make a votation. Um, if you want to talk about the first row, you raise your hand. No, nobody. The second row? Yeah, okay, let's try on the second row. And which column on the, on, the, on the second row? The first column? Nobody but the first column. The second column? Yeah, the second column. Thank you. So this, um, this is one of my uh, first customers, actually. She's an artist. She's uh, 74 years old, and she learns SketchUp. And because she's an artist, she's able now to create sculptures like this one. And then she makes a replication of sculptures in bronze, and so she's casting things. It, so 3D printing changed her life because she's now able to create things. She used to be an engineer. She used to be an automotive engineer. But now she's able, directly from her computer, she's 74, and she's able to create things. So that's uh, quite interesting for us. Uh, of course, we can do a lot of uh, mock-ups. Uh, Figurine, uh, this, so the white one is done by selective laser centering, and the other one is uh, from the Z Corp or 3D system uh, process. It's a uh, color 3D printing, it goes uh, directly out of the machine, like this one. We can do ceramic 3D printing. Ceramic 3D printing is uh, very, very interesting. I believe you have a talk uh, in the afternoon about ceramic 3D printing. Uh, for us, it's very interesting because it's real objects. So what does that mean? It means that it's something that you can actually use. So we can print things. 
we can print things without a printer. And you can actually use them. So we can print ceramic objects. We can print things that you can actually use. And it, it makes a big difference. The big difference, actually, is that when we show these objects to anyone, and you probably can, show, can, can see one of these on our booth uh, just above there, ceramics 3D printing is very interesting because it looks like an object. You don't need to explain that uh, this object is great because it's 3D printed. No, no, no. It's just great because it's an object that you have in your hand. You can actually use that. It's exactly the same surface aspect as what we have in the shop or what you have in a, in a regular factory. So this, this is why we really like ceramics 3D printing. And we really like also silver. So this is sterling silver. It's not exactly printed. It's casted. But the shape is printed. So we print the shape with wax. And then we have um, one of the oldest industrial, or let's say industrial, process, which is uh, wax casting. It's uh, not a couple of centuries old. It's a couple of uh, millenary old. So uh, yeah, wax casting is very, very, very old. And uh, this is sterling silver, which means that uh, it's exactly the same thing that uh, what you already have in sterling silver. It's, uh, it weights like sterling silver. It has the same surface aspect. It has the same polishing process. It's exactly a real object. So it's really a system. So it's, yeah. But when we, when we say that, and when we are very happy about that, we forget something. We forget that uh, the biggest part of all of this is you. Uh, actually, it's uh, not only you, but it's uh, you and your neighbor and all of you. Because you are the most important part of the business today. The consumer is the most important part of the business today. And the consumer wants to make things special. They want to have a special ring. They want to have a special iPhone case. So we all like your iPhone case, uh, your uh, FDM iPhone case, but I want mine. And because you all want yours, we created things. And first, this is the textile industry that showed us the way once again. So they created the programmable loom, and now they created this. Uh, this is a Nike ID. Nike ID is uh, one of the first things that uh, allow you to really create your own stuff. It's not only about printing a logo on a t-shirt, it's really creating something. Actually, you can change a couple of different materials, you can print things, you can change the shape. Basically, you are creating your shoes. Um, as an engineer, I don't really think you are creating your shoes. I think that uh, you are customizing, a couple of materials, and you are printing something on top of it. But from the customer perspective, when you receive your shoes, you never say, oh, I customize a couple of materials. So you go in a shop and try. Talk about Nike ID to your, to your friends. And they won't tell you that uh, they customized some part of the material. They created their shoes. It's very, very important. And as you can create your shoes, you can create, for example, iPhone case. So this is a, a very uh, interesting application. It's, uh, it's ours. It's life. It's not a prototype. It's a, it's a real thing. Um, it's called 3DP case. And it's a way to create your own iPhone case. So what does that mean, creating your own iPhone case? Does that mean that you have to uh, start SolidWorks? No. You don't need to create your shoe from the beginning to be able to say, I created my shoe. So you don't need to create your iPhone case from SolidWorks. You take some templates, and you will be able to customize it or to modify it. But the very important thing here is that you all have the feeling that you created your iPhone case. And it's not a bad feeling. It's, it, it's true. You really created your iPhone case. The same thing with jewelry. This is. Um, Sterling silver once again, but uh, we, did, we don't print one ring that has been created by a designer. We give you the option to create your very own ring, or we can give the option to create anything. So on this uh, very simple example, you just carve something on the ring. 
you can also modify the shape, you can of course modify the size, you can print things, and, and all of this is done automatically, directly, in a browser or in a mobile application. It's very easy to use, and we believe that it's uh, really the new way to go. So this is a ceramic, once again, and it's uh, of course not only one ceramic part, but customizable ceramic. We think that it's a very game changer. What does it change? It changes that uh, we are doing mass production. It's not, it's not prototyping, it's mass production. But it's mass production not of... Uh, of uh, uh, it's, it's unique objects, basically. It's, not, it's similar objects, but unique, customized objects. And I like my one, I'm sorry. So we have been doing that for ourselves. So for 3D PKs, for example, we are doing uh, um, the technology to support uh, this, this software and to support the ways you create um, iPhone case. And we are also doing that for any way, for any brand. For example, any brand can integrate our technology. So this is a, the blue box in the, in the middle is our technology. And any brand can integrate this technology and start selling things to other people. And uh, I must say that um, we started this business of doing this for any brand one year ago, about one year ago. It started slowly, but now you will see more and more things popping up with that. We have already very consumer-oriented uh, application with games, for example. So um, there's a game on the iPad. You can modify a pot, a virtual pottery. It's a virtual pottery game, and you can actually print the, print the pottery at the end of the game. So that's, uh, that's the kind of things that we are doing. We are doing this uh, integration stuff for iPhone case. We are doing this integration stuff for a lot of different objects. So this is our, um, our main uh, uh, technology things. Uh, if you want me to describe, so <laughs> I can make a rotation once again, but if you want me to describe one of the uh, inside things, uh, this technology is very, is very interesting because it has, of course, a lot of uh, details inside. So, but uh, okay, I, I believe you want me to, to discuss about what it changed. So it changed that uh, you can not only print things for yourself, just like this guy on the uh, on the board, but you can also provide things for anyone else to be able to be customized. So the top guy created the design. He's the designer. So he's using SolidWorks and is pushing his SOLIDWORKS file on the internet, and it gave the option to anyone else to customize it. Hey, I don't want to press on the green button. <laughs> it, it gave the option to anyone else to go to the website, use a mobile application, modify things, modify parameters, customize things, but basically not only to customize, but to create his very own version of jewelry, cases, curbs or, or anything else. It's creating new business models. It's creating new business models basically because designers don't have to be looking for a brand for themselves. They can go to the website, create the product themselves. It's very important for designers. It's very important also for the brand because it's creating a new business way of doing things. Uh, which is basically on-demand production. So if a brand integrates with this system, they will be able to sell things that does not exist yet, which is good for money, it's good for investment, it's good for stocks, or it's good for majority of things. It's uh, only bad if the price is too high, which is the case. Currently, it's still the case. For example, someone can print that one, it's possible, but you won't sell it because it's big and it's very expensive. But for, for, for some markets, it's already done. So for phone case, for example, it's, it's very small a phone case, so it's a very interesting market for this kind of technology. And of course, we are not making the revolution every day, so, but it's an evolution. And every day, the size of the market is getting bigger, the size of the parts is getting bigger, the price is reducing, and the possibility to customize and modify online is, are, are getting better. So, um, now, 
if um, any of you have been late or if I have, haven't been clear. We have now a new production system. It's called 3D printing. It's a way to create objects, but you don't need to buy a printer for that. You can use a cloud-based system. And because you can use a cloud-based system, you can use also the technology that goes behind and use all the software that goes with 3D printing that and really enable the power of 3D printing and make customizable objects, unique objects, and, and so on. So that was the end. Thank you.